So hi guys and welcome back. What we have here today is another product from Demon RC, demonrc.eu and this is the Nox 3 which is a 140 mm quadcopter frame. What we will do today is we will unbox this, we will um, take the weight of all parts, we will do our carbon fiber test, we will measure the thickness of the arms and measure the other parts as well. We will do a time lapse build of it, of the bare frame. And then we will compare it to some other frames and I will give you my conclusion. So let's start right now with the unboxing of this. As you can see this comes really nicely boxed in this uh, paper box. And even within the paper box all parts are separately packaged. As you can see I have already opened them before. So they all come in separate packages which are themselves also labeled as you can see here so this is really nice so let's take a look what we have here so as you can see we have here nicely labeled the Demon Nox 3 hardware then the FPV camera mount the top plate and finally something which I have already opened the frame kit so this is the, the uh, bottom plate which we can take a look here so let's just unbox uh, all of these so here we can see it unboxed in front of us as you can see the whole frame is pretty simple so we have here this uh, a unibody main plate which combines the X style arms with the bottom plate and uh, this is a 140 size frame, so 140 millimeters from motor to motor. And as you can see, yeah, this is pretty nice. What I really like about this is that there are no uh, unnecessary leaf outs here, which might uh, weaken the arms. So this looks quite nice. We will uh, take a look at the thickness of this in just a moment. What we have here is the top plate of it <clears throat> so this is also I guess this is one millimeter we will take a look in a moment and then we have here all the mounting hardware <laughs> and here this is really nice because I only recently got myself a 3d printer as well as you know this is a 3d printed bar that is actually FPV camera mount uh, it has some tilt to it already and I guess the camera is meant to be just glued in here. It is probably made for one of these uh, mini 600 DVL cameras. I will link them in the description. So yeah, this is a 3D printed part. What we will do now is we take the weight of all the parts which are to it. So let's see what the weight of this is. The bottom plate comes in at 20 grams. The top plate brings us to 24 grams. And yeah, we arrive at 33 grams for the bare frame here, which is pretty nice for a 140 size frame. So now let's take a look at the strength, at the width of this. So let's see here what we have here. Okay, so come here. And we can see these are two millimeters. It says 2.1, it's probably a two millimeters arms. And this is of course the same for the complete plate. So two millimeters, it says here 2.1 millimeters, around two millimeters for the bottom plate here. Uh, which, well, two millimeters isn't that much, but given the small size of this, and it's really stiff, it uh, seems like pretty high quality carbon. It looks like pretty high quality carbon to me. You can nicely see the layers of it. So this looks nice. So while two millimeters isn't that much for such a small quadcopter, I think it's completely sufficient. Let's take a look at the top plate and let's see what we have here. And as we assumed, this is a one millimeter top plate. 
which we have here which is also as before it is very stiff so it's of course only one millimeter but for such a small machine that should be fine so one more thing which i would like to take a look here for you is the motor mounting holes here i just want to give you the dimensions so that you can know which motors you can mount here so for the dimensions you can see these motor holes are about at most 1.4 millimeters apart and can go to well let's see what we have here at around 0 0.8 millimeters so it should be a nice fit for all smaller motors here i'm thinking about the 1104 motors uh, or the 13 or 6 motors these should fit this little guy nicely so what we will do now is to quickly do our carbon fiber test to see if this is true carbon fiber so let's see this as you know carbon fiber is conductive uh, so we pretty much only test if this plate and this plate are conductive and we conclude from that that this should be carbon fiber you can see if i put these together here directly this goes to below one and if we do this with this carbon fiber here let's take the holes here you can also see that this is conductive so this is really carbon fiber let's take the top plate here as well and again you can see yes this is conductive so we assume yes this is true carbon fiber so what we will do now is we will quickly build this up so that you can see how this looks assembled. So we have now quickly built up this frame and as you can see there are some things to notice here uh, there are a lot of parts which are left over here because i didn't use them uh, the reason is here i can try to show it to you these holes here these mounting holes of course i could also mount the standoffs here but those are exactly the right size to mount a nase or well, one of their PDPs even, one of the uh, Demon RC PDPs so um, this here in between is rather where we would stack your PDP, your nays and maybe you could, could even go to the top and for some, some stability also mount it from the top so this is basically just using these four spacers here um, this looks uh, quite nice something which I don't like much is the screws here which are easily uh, replaced but as you can see they don't have a real head here that's a flat head so uh, you have a bit of a hard time to really screw them in nicely but as I said this is an, a really easy fix other than that this looks nice let's take a look at the at the weight of this bare frame and we can see uh, that we arrive around at around 29 grams for the bare frame here so what else is there uh, to do before i draw my conclusion let's compare this to my airplate assault here so as you know the airplate assault which you can see here which i presented in one of my previous videos is a 130 size frame this is a 140 size frame so let's try to key hold them together here yeah you can see so in this one is 140 size so it is a little larger 
than the air blade I sold and there's actually one thing I would like to try out because I had one issue with the air blade I sold which is that it really nicely fits this 3020 props which you can see here okay let's just to show you how nicely this fits them so as you can see here this is a very close fit and works great but there are actually some updated props these are hq props which are actually not 3020 but 3030 so i wanted to mount them here and as you can see these are just a tiny bit longer than the 3020s and this uh, for this reason they would not fit here they would touch here at the tips if i used two of them so this is something which was a bit of a pity because i wanted to make my airplane sold a bit more of a race machine but which shouldn't be an issue for this one shouldn't we will try it out maybe it is still let's take two of those here and put it to the test just try to have it really nicely centered here one here and one here and yeah you can see it so this is not an issue for this one because of the 10 millimeters more frame size it has so i will probably use these ones with that and, and that should be fun some 1104 motors or maybe the 1105 motors should make this a really nice uh, and fun uh, race machine i'm looking forward to this so my conclusion this is a really nice race machine i will definitely build it up i like that is it is an, an x style uh, which is well <laughs> kind of the new kit on the block so this looks really nice it's also um, available at a very low price given that it's available from europe so this is also a nice factor because you don't have to worry about customs and so on what i don't like is these flat screw heads and well another thing which is kind of well i think this was basically a gift so uh, this 3d printed uh, camera holder is nice and i really like it because i love 3d printing uh, but it doesn't look so useful to be honest but it's easy to print one yourself or just mount the camera uh, however you wish or just use one of the really cheaply available uh, diatone style mount let's see if i have one here for you so yeah you can uh, just use one of these very cheaply available diatone style mounts you know them i have a separate video on them which i showed you before so just use these or maybe you go with a more hardcore <laughs> solution like i did for my airplate as hold where i just uh, hot glued or well, actually super glued <laughs> this this in with ca which also holds great but this is another solution so all in all very nice frame available from europe which is a nice thing uh, and yeah nice frame looking forward to build it up i will keep you updated if you have any questions please leave them below if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and if you are not already a subscriber please subscribe to my channel i would be very honored to have you here so thank you very much and see you next time